good day. It's Tony Fortunato. We're going to spend a few minutes looking at uh, troubleshooting, uh, in this case, an FTP problem with Wireshark. The moral of this story, though, is the fact that you sometimes don't see the error message from your application. You would probably have a better chance on the wire. Let's find out what that means. So first thing, we got to set up Wireshark correctly. Otherwise, it does pretty well nothing. I'm going to be capturing off my Ethernet card. So I'm just going to double click on this guy. And I'm going to have a capture filter, not a display filter, a capture filter. And host, typically you'd put the IP. In this case, I'm putting the name of the server, Churchill. And I'm going to click OK. And start. There you go. I'm capturing away. So I'm going to move this aside. And I'm going to come over here. And I'm FTPing to Churchill. So I'm just going to hit refresh. And you see it works just fine. Okay. And if I take a look, I've got all these lovely packets. La, 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 la. So everything's wonderful. Now in the background, something happens. And now I'm going to capture restart because I know all this worked. I want a brand new capture. And I'm going to refresh. Boom. Dun, dun, dun. The connection was interrupted. Web page is not available. Oh, no. And it says error 101, error connection reset. So the customer I was working with had a lot of these error messages, wasn't quite sure what the problem was. We captured a few packets with Wireshark. Let's see what it tells us. I'm going to go back over to Wireshark. I'm going to just drag this back over here. Now, a few things. Number one, um, you probably uh, don't want to have the uh, detail pane and the byte pane all the time on. In this case, we're lucky we've got six packets because, hey, we had a pretty cool filter to start with. I can stop my capture at this moment, and I can see here's my SYN. I'm expecting to see a SYN ACK and another ACK. Life is good. And then the server sends back a message. Response, 421, too many connections for this IP address. Hmm, that's funny. That's not what he said. So this, again, the moral of the story is sometimes you have to go to the wire to see what the error message really is as opposed to an application layer message that just basically goes bleh and you got to figure it out. Again, that was it. Short, simple, and sweet. Have a good day. Bye for now.